I don't know what the truth is either. We're going to find out what it is. That Paul said, uh, I think I would like to make a motion right now to uh, suspend all operations at the animal control and to transfer all animals to a no kill shelter. <laughs> No euthanasia to be performed or be prohibited uh, during this period of uh, transfer. And ask that Mr. Hinton take a uh, valid effort and uh, assign you to accomplish this task. I'll support it. Who's going to take care of them for the seven days? <laughs> We will take care of those animals. I don't plan on. I just plan on suspending all operations uh, within the next uh, seven days, having all the animals transferred out. We'll continue the operations until the seven days for all the animals are transferred out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The motion on the floor is permanently, temporarily, temporarily shut down until we can have this investigation. A second. A second. Is this yes, I, would, I guess I would be not in favor of that. What what happens to the all the people that bring animals? Where are they going to go? The neighboring shelters are full. Where Grand Travers is full. Masaki is full. Masaki is overwhelmed with the number of animals every day. And I guess I would like to know where all the animals are going to be. We're talking about short term. There is a rescue that's supposed to get the mom and puppies tomorrow. Is that still going to be okay? Can the local one over Traver City? Who would know? Can you uh, check the local shelter, did you know, and found out that nobody wants any more animals? Um, I have a, a couple of comments. I have a concern. The county has by ordinance, given the sheriff authorization uh, to run the animal control facility. And I believe that this motion, I believe that we should seek legal opinion whether or not this would be contrary to ordinance and would require a uh, um, amendment to the existing county ordinance number 35. I, uh, so I'm very uncomfortable with, with the motion from that aspect. I did speak to the director of the Misaki County Community Society um, yesterday, I believe. They have no room for cats. They have some room for dogs. The director uh, could not um, guarantee that they would take any specific number without authorization of his board. I, I do have a concern that the Animal Control Division was adopted by Ordinance Number 35. It was amended in 1996. First was amended in May of 1995. It was further amended in 1996 to the ordinance we have now. I don't believe a motion by this board can effectively override the county ordinance. I would concur with Ken in my 10 years on the board. You want to be careful of this because you can run afoul of state statute. And I'm not saying it could not be done. I do not believe it could be done by motion. And satisfy the requirements of the state statute. But I'm sure could be done through amendment of the county's ordinance, but I do not believe we have the authority to dispose of by motion of the county board. Mr. Chairman, I would be glad to check it out. Can we have the subject listed for the next board meeting? Yes, and by then we can develop more information 
through legal counsel, and then we can move forward and try to see if there is something that has to be done. At least we can we can get to it as quickly as possible. I would have a lot better understanding of that. Sure. I was not prepared for a motion to be put on the floor tonight because uh, it was not on the agenda. Can, can we make a motion to prohibit any Jews in Asia? Or by the I have already uh, talked to the sheriff, and he already has, has volunteered and talked to a local vet who volunteered his time. If there is any euthanasia required, he will oversee it. And I think at this point, our best option is to have euthanasias overseen by, by the veterinarian who volunteered his time, no charge, and wait until the conclusion of these two state investigations are gone, and then by that time we will have a better handle <coughs> than what we could possibly do. Thank you. As I say, I, as several commissioners have said, we've heard this side of the issue, we've heard that side of the issue. I'm sure the truth is somewhere near the middle. Mm -hmm. I hesitate to uh, jump into something here, but I do believe the sheriff has made uh, a, a good move in in contacting a local vet who has volunteered to be present at any euthanasia. And I'm sure the sheriff from this point on is going to take a much more closer look at the county policy. Who is the vet that we can back? Do we be informed of that? Can you know? I believe it's Dr. Meyer. Uh, one comment that if you look at 35B, it states that the sheriff shall propose rules and regulations concerning the operation, etc. I can find nowhere where we've actually approved his recommendations. So that's one of the things that's going to also have to be cleared up. So let's make sure we're working on a dual path at this point in time. Did you send your motion? I received my motion as long as uh, we're allowing Mr. Myers to. And Mr. Chair, the board will be subject to be listed for the next board meeting. Will this be on our agenda? Yeah. We will, yeah. Okay. We will, I'm not exactly how it will be listed, okay. sure, but I'll have to think about that. Mr. Howard, you received your support? Yes. Thank you. Who decides who is euthanized? Or do you know administration of the business? That would be the term that I'm figuring probably. I'm the veteran. I have a concern here. Could People possibly quit calling these people at the shelter and threatening their lives and saying That's awful things. To that I, agree. I mean, everybody deserves due law. I agree. It's not, and it's not, they are only doing what they're told to do. Don't call them and tell them what's going on the earth there. They deserve justice. I agree. And I'm not saying everybody here is alive. I have no comments. Thank you. No. Taylor? Pascal? I want to thank everybody for appearing. At least we're hearing both sides. We're hearing the information, and that's what's important. So we can act. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone for showing up. I appreciate comments on both sides. As I said, uh, the truth may be hard to discern here. We will be looking into it. I believe the step of having a veterinarian oversee all euthanasias from this point forward at the animal shelter until the conclusion of these two state investigations. We will try and resolve this issue. I'm sure that whatever we do won't be satisfactory to everyone. I've been here 10 years. It never has been yet. We will make our best effort. If we do an in-house investigation, then we'll like watching it. If we hire an outside investigation and the results don't come back with people like, then it was a faulty investigation. So we're kind of between a rock and a hard place, but we will do our best to resolve this issue. 